Uh oh. I will not take this as an omen that the day is going to go bad. I will not! Ooh. I'm currently in Wolf's room. Every time I come in here, I remember that there is a bag of pyjamas that we've been given that I need to go through with him to see what fits now. Because most of these are swinging somewhere around his lower calf. Because <laughs> he's growing like a weed, my baby. So I'm going to pack away this washing. I've just done the ironing and I've, I'm wearing my Ogden cami that I made at the weekend. And um, we need to do the adding a bus start hack. So it looks relatively simple. So I'd like to do that to get it to fit properly because I have a, um, I have a full bust. Aren't I lucky? <laughs> Actually, I'd, I'd rather not have much of a bust at all because since Kate died of breast cancer, I get worried about what is lurking in there. <laughs> so um, if you ever see me and I'm just, say, sat at traffic lights or I'm zoned out watching the TV and I'm absent-mindedly groping my chest, it's because I'm looking for lumps. <laughs> Honestly, I know all the peaks and troughs of my boobs, like the back of my hand. I'll probably end up getting toe cancer. I never touch my toes. I won't know it's there until one of the digits falls off. Um, I'm, I'm folding laundry single-handedly. Has Toby just gone? Oh, it's because I was carrying laundry up. Maybe I could pop you somewhere to talk to you. Can I pop you there? So it's safe. Oh, that's better. Got you popped there now. Um, I'm thinking today, I've got, I've got quite a few. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Um, maybe this isn't going to work. got quite a few jobs to do. Oh look, look who's come. Look who's here. Going to the dentist on Monday, aren't you, for your awful poodle teeth? Yay! Look at her, she's hilarious. You're a hoot and a very needy smelly dog. <laughs> on today's agenda, I've got a number of boring jobs that I won't take you along with me to do. Um, go away. Away! Good girl. She's so good. Now she's twirling. Um, but one of the fun jobs I'm going to do is I've decided to run a giveaway. I'm going to do it after the raffle's closed um, for a couple of reasons. I would just like to put something out there without asking for something in return as such, or at least without asking for dollar. So what I'm what I'm gonna do is gather together some bits. So I've got a couple of bits that I've made and just a couple of other bits that I think would be nice to offer up and just do a giveaway. And obviously when, when you do a giveaway, there's gotta be some sort of procedure, protocol, what's the word, rule. So I think I'll just do what everybody does, which is um, on Instagram, it's a follow, a like and a tag. And on YouTube, it will be a comment, a like and a subscribe. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's the right way around, isn't it? So I'll do that. Um, keep it nice and simple it'll be open worldwide as everything always is um obviously the high clear castle one although it was open worldwide you had to know that you were going to be traveling to the uk before march 2022 
um, but yeah, it'll be open worldwide. Um, so, what else can I say? Nothing till I show you what I dig out. <laughs> Look at her. Look at you. <laughs> you want to play? You don't want to play. Paul? 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 No, let's lie down. Paul? 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 Come on, Paul. Let's lie down. <laughs> You're so confused. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> lipstick again. Got myself a frothy coffee. I've lit some candles because it is so cold in here. It's chilly in here in the winter, autumn time, spring, when the fire's not on. And it's cool in here in the summer, which is nice. I'm about to do do editing, edit yesterday's vlog. Postman's arrived and he's brought this, which is a book by Emma Foden. Yeah, no, is it? Emily Foden. It's called Knits About Winter and I've been stalking this for quite some time on Instagram and I decided it was worth it. Especially since you order it from Pom Pom magazine and um, you get a digital copy of it as well, which I think is just supremely handy for if you're out and about and you're knitting something but you didn't want to take the book because you're on the long straight and you just wanted to check something for reference. Oh look. I think this might be on pre-order now. I ordered it last Monday and it arrived today, Thursday. So that was quite a long wait but I think if you order it now it's not coming till November because I just had an email. Oh, it's divine. This is not an ad. This is not a spawn. But this page, it's got that um, velvety quality about it. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, look. Oh, I love this sort of tracing paper. We had this in our um, wedding invitations. I made our wedding invitations and I printed the blurb on this paper as an insert inside, a double insert. They were very pretty wedding invitations, must admit. Oh, I love sparkly snow. Right, I'm not going to show you everything because of copyright and I don't want to get into trouble. Let me just see, who is it by? Emily Foden, yeah. And it's called Knits About Winter. I'm going to drink my coffee and have a look at this. Look at that. Oh, and I'll show you the patterns I'm going to knit one day. Oh, this shawl is lovely. But I don't find myself really wearing shawls particularly at the moment. So that can go on my one day list. But look at this jumper. Look at that jumper. I love that. Emily Foden worked down at um, a mill not too far away in Devon, which is the next county south of Somerset where I live. And it's um, it's called John Arben. I'm going to say textiles. Anyway, it's John Arben. And she has a collection of yarn there, Viola. Viola yarn, who, which is the yarn that Emily Foden makes, curates. I don't know. Or something. I might have to check this. Um, I wonder if I could go there one day. That would be nice. I've got cut off. Um, these are nice. Hang on, I'll just spin you around. What was I saying just now? I know what I was saying. Oh, just lost my page. I was saying how I wondered if I could go down to Devon and go to the mill. I don't know if they've got a factory shop there or um, whether because of COVID. They're... Um... Did you hear my tongue? I wonder if, because of COVID, they're not accepting visitors. Look at these socks. 
Emily's favourite socks. I like these with the rib that goes all the way down. They're different. They're gorgeous. Oh yeah. Well, get some of those on the needles. Lovely. They are lovely. It's these mittens that first alerted me to this book. The Persephone mittens. Look at the drawings. Um, Alicia Paulson. Cozy gets cozy. Oh, like, hi. How are you watching? <laughs> I know she watches sometimes. Um, she knitted these. And that started my stalking. Oh, they're absolutely divine. Everything Alicia does is divine, mind you. Oh, can't show you that. That's the pattern. Everything Alicia does is divine, I have to say. And um, I love it when I get to chat to her. I mean, I know we don't know each other, but, but if you're watching, I do feel like you're my mate, you know? I'm going to turn up at your house one day and I'm going to make little wooden people cake toppers with you. Look, and those Persephone mittens, you can mit knit interchangeable mitten liners for very cold days. I like those just as they are, as mittens. Double fun. Ooh. Here's that jumper. Now, I saw this on Heather and Hop's um, podcast. Just found her recently. I'm so enjoying her, enjoying her vibe. And some of her style aesthetic is bang on what I love. And some of it is very, very different. And I was talking to some friends yesterday on WhatsApp about how much I enjoy seeing, how much I enjoy seeing things that are very different to my style and taste aesthetic because I can enjoy it for what it is because I'm a little bit nervy of colour especially in my clothing and in my homeware and I've said this before it's because my brain rattles all the time it's just too busy it never bloody shuts up and I think that's because I'm an only child um so it's just it's constantly trying to entertain me and then if I have lots of visually stimulating things around me well it's just it's too much and it exhausts me because I am like a puppy I have a lot of energy but once the energy is gone boom I'm asleep so if I have anything that's too um sensory stimulating I get it's just too much for me it wears me out but I can enjoy it when it's other people's stuff. So I love it. I love seeing other people's vibrancy and um, off the wall designs and full to the rafters house houses. Um, yeah, I love I love all of that. So what I'm saying is, Cat from Heather and Hops, she ticks both boxes for me. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this the spine's making it look a bit weird. This is a tank top. Cool, oh, that's a lot of bobbles. I wonder if they you can feel them when you sit down. That is lush. I wonder how much yarn that takes because I have got a dress. That would look incredible with that over the top. And I've got the perfect colour yarn that my mate Nikki, Nikki Winterton. Hello, gorgeous. I know you don't watch this. <laughs> she doesn't enjoy vlogs. <laughs> the jury is out on this one for me. I don't think, I don't like the contrast colour. And I don't know that I like this big side split. I wonder if you could do it so that you fill the side split with the moss stitch and have the whole thing in moss stitch. And then I would like the contrast colour. I'm going to have to read the pattern. I prefer it as a jumper, actually. My tummy's squeaking again. Actually, that's lovely as a jumper. 
I love that book so much. It's gorgeous. <sighs> what is that? Here it is. <laughs> it's me. See, <laughs> I've um, just uh, whizzed out because um, what's going on? Oh. Select <laughs> reverse. I've just come to the neighbouring village. I was ringing up start again rather than starting three or four sentences and never finishing any of them which is a terrible habit I seem to have got into I've been meaning to get a flu vaccination and um, I know that's potentially a controversial out I know that is a potentially controversial conversation or decision or whatever um don't talk me out of it it's too late I've just had it done <laughs> I decided I needed a flu because I used to get it I used to get invited to have a flu vaccine because um I had wet night coughs from asthma my asthma is now since I live in the country and not in um, in the city, is so well controlled, I forget that I've got it. And so it appears has my doctor's surgery because they no longer invite me for my vaccine. I should also be invited because I am considered on paper by the local authority a carer for my son, Bill, because of his needs. So why I don't get pulled up or called up, I don't know, but it's absolutely fine because it's only 12 pounds and you can just go along and get it yourself. And if I can save the NHS 12 pounds, then I will. But there was, I rang around, or I heard, did I ring around? No. But I heard that there was a bit of a shortage locally for flu vaccine a couple of weeks ago. So when I was ringing up for mine and Bill's repeat prescription request today, I asked the pharmacy if they had any. They said they only had it for over 65s, but the village along from us had it for under 65s. I don't know if it's a different preparation or something. Anyway, I've just been had it done and honestly I didn't know she'd done it I I sort of felt her rummaging on my arm and I heard a sort of squeak noise and uh, and then she was like there you go <laughs> you've done it I didn't feel that at all it was incredible but it's aching now I can feel it sort of throbbing a little bit now but it's fine so one of my reasons why I thought it would be a good idea this year, out of all the years that I haven't had a flu vaccination, is because 11 months ago, I had a virus that, if I got it today, I would say it's COVID. But it was November, so some people think COVID's been around longer than December in Wuhan with patient Wuhan with patient zero. Um, I kind of wouldn't be surprised, and some people think that that's absolutely impossible. Well, whatever. I had a bug, and it was awful, and it floored me. From Tuesday afternoon lunchtime, I went to bed, and then I didn't really surface until Saturday afternoon. And I felt like I'd been in bed for 
about four hours, but I'd been in bed for days. I was so poorly. And I don't want that again, or anything like that again, if I can avoid it. Also, if we can keep seasonal flu numbers down, that can only help our overstretched health service because seasonal flu takes down people in vast numbers and people do end up in hospital for it. So I think if we can, if it's available to us, if it's out there and ready and available and we can avoid a seasonal flu, then it's a, for me, I think it's a good idea. So that's what I've done. And if you've got any massively differing opinions, I'm not going to I'm not going to stop you from expressing those. We, we live in a free land of democracy and I've always maintained that anyone and everybody is welcome here, no matter what creed, colour, religion, gender, sexual orientation, you're all welcome. I don't want the baddies here. I don't want the murderers and the nasty people and the bullies. I don't want those people here, but the rest of you, welcome. And therefore, if you have got strong opinions and you want to voice them, go ahead. But just be very, very mindful of how you word them. Right, it is 10 minutes past three. I reckon I've got 15 minutes in order to go to the zero waste shop. I've run out of pasta lasagna sheets and I want to get ingredients for mince meat for um for making my mince meat for my mince pies because I want it to sit and percolate for a while.